Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today! We are going to be strip mining a little bit because I am running low on diamonds. I only have four, five, six, seven diamonds left and I lost my diamond armor. I'm at nine deaths. I was traveling in the nether again and a ghast just happened to spawn and like shot the floor right underneath me. And I basically just fell into the lava and died. I've literally died now. I can't believe, like, I've not recorded any of these, uh, these that deaths. Maybe I've recorded one on camera, which is part, of, which was part of a prank, and I died while we were doing it. But uh, that video will be up in the future. Uh, you guys will probably see that very, very soon. But anyways, I've got this farm here started, and um, it's a farm that I found on YouTube for an automatic. Uh, potato farm and an automatic wheat farm but I still need to uh, find more farmer villagers because my farmer my villagers in here are not breeding properly but uh, yeah today's episode we're gonna be strip mining a little bit just doing a little bit of uh, talking hold on let me uh, check my frames really quickly all right just gonna be doing a little bit of talking as I said and then uh, I'm gonna try to figure out how to how to make these breed because I don't know what's if something's just wrong with the current snapshot I'm in or if I'm breeding them wrong but there's enough doors I've tried to trade with them and they're still not willing to breed with each other so uh, we're gonna go mining a little bit as you guys can see here I got my first efficiency 5 unbreaking 3 pickaxe and then I have a silk touch pickaxe here because I lost my fortune pickaxe uh, back when um, when I died in the lava so no worries I, I had some leftover god picks that I enchanted earlier and then I combined Oh, uh, two of my efficiency four pickaxes to make this one just to make my life a little bit easier I'm gonna make a bucket I'm gonna make two buckets here actually and then I'm gonna get a bucket of water and a bucket of lava just in case uh, we do need them in the future and of course always have to have a bucket of water when you're strip mining because if you happen to find a lava patch or you accidentally mine where you don't want to and there's lava underneath you uh, that lava or that water bucket will just end up saving your life so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the prank that we pulled on Hyper Darkness. He was he was fairly his reactions on uh, on Skype when we told him to log in were pretty hilarious. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a really fun uh, fun little prank to do. It wasn't too big of a hassle. It was really fun on our part. And uh, yeah, so it was all in good fun. Uh, Hyper Darkness and Kyle did prank me, and they literally removed my entire shop. I, I I don't know if I recorded that yet. I might put that at the beginning of this video. Or in the next in the beginning of my next prank video, but this is what I need from you guys. I need more. Ooh, ooh, diamonds right away. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. There's our first. There's our first diamonds for this uh, strip mining tip right here. I nearly missed that too. I'm gonna use my. I have my silk touch here, so I'm gonna mine these up, and then hopefully I can borrow a set of. Uh, hopefully I can borrow a set of what's it called fortune three picks from somebody or pay somebody to mine them for me and give me the diamonds so yeah anyways what was what I was saying was I need more ideas for pranks so I got six diamond ore right there need more ideas for pranks guys uh, you guys have been sending in a couple a lot of you guys seem to want me to uh, put some sort of a uh, sand gravel at somebody's base and uh, if you guys want me to do that give me names I need names of people I need to go grab some torches guys I need names of the people who I should prank. Like who, I know Kyle has like a big tree house. I have big future plans for him very, very shortly. I need to get ready for that. Um, no Boom has like a sort of glass dome that he was pranked in, but he sort of kept it because it did look really, really nice. Um, I haven't seen Nick's house yet, Dr. PlayStation. I haven't really looked at his house yet, so I'm gonna have to check that out uh, later on um, in the series. Whenever, whenever I have a chance, I'll walk over, I'll run over to his house. And um, I know No Boom has, or not No Boom, Gabe has a pretty decent house, I think. He's just getting started out. Stitch, I'm not even sure if Stitch has a house yet. And then Kobe has a really nice house. Uh, we decided to prank Kobe. I'm not sure if I'm uploading that video, though, because that video, like, kind of went downhill really quickly. And uh, I, I can't really explain why, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can upload portions of it just to, just to show you guys the prank. Um, but yeah, give me more prank ideas guys. There's a lot of stuff I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I can be pranking or a lot of people and stuff that I could be doing But there, like some of it takes a lot of preparation like you guys were really really mean and you guys were like You guys should put obsidian in someone's house like all over someone's house And that actually sounds like a really really good idea But the setup for it is kind of long so if I do do that I'll have to do a lot of off-camera mining just to get all the obsidian 
Um, I was thinking of copying. I was watching one of Tomahawk's videos. He's on. I think he plays on the cube, and he did a prank on somebody where uh, he basically took like obsidian and he wrote out in big letters like a, a message uh, to to like one of his fact or to one of the uh, his SMP members, and it was really interesting and it was kind of it was hilarious. I was I, I have to say it was pretty it was a hilarious. Uh, how he uh, how he did it so I might have to copy his prank but um, we'll see we'll, we'll see where we go from here we'll see if my users can uh, give me some feedback before I before I go ahead and do that so once again comment leave a comment in the section below guys give me amazing prank ideas on what I should do to some of my fellow uh, rise SMP members and if it's really really good I'll give you a shout out if I if I remember your name and uh, things of that nature so so yeah, we're gonna go strip mining today. We need more diamonds. I really want to be wearing diamond armor because um, they're planning an Ender Dragon fight actually on Wednesday. So they're—I don't know exactly what time yet. It's not, it hasn't been fully confirmed, but they want to venture into the end and fight the Ender Dragon as a big faction or not a faction as a big group. And um, I want to have at least diamond armor with some protection on it before I enter that fight because the Ender Dragon is a strong beast. So we need to prepare for that Ender Dragon fight if we end up going to it. Um, I'm, I'm I'm not even sure if I'll I'll be able to attend if um if I'm if I don't have enough good armor. I mean I probably could attend, but I mean if I don't have amazing armor, I'll end up just dying a bunch of times and upping my death counter even more. So I don't know. We'll kind of we'll kind of see where we go from here. Um, kind of just taking it one step at a time, not really worrying too much about it, you know. So I'm just going to be strip mining for this episode, kind of talking about future plans. Um, as you guys saw in the beginning of the episode, you guys might have seen or a, seen a glimpse of that uh, automatic wheat farm. I just really need villagers. I can't find any more villagers, like farmer villagers. And uh, my villagers won't breed properly. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Um, they're just not, they just don't want to breed in, in that little cell I made for them. I'm not sure if they're not supposed to be indoors. Ooh, here's a cave system. Let's take a look. Let's take a peek -sees through this cave system really quick. Anything over here? Why is there grass down here? What the heck? Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to breed villagers. And I'll, I'll try to record that as well. Um, a lot of people have been telling me that I need to make them willing to breed by trading. And I actually tried that. And they would have they have the hearts around them, but they don't breed. Like, they don't make love to each other. And uh, the villagers don't actually breed for... Uh, to make little babies, so I'm gonna try that out at the very end of this episode. So we'll get, we're gonna clear through this cave system and then we'll head on out of here. We did get six diamond ore, so that should, with the fortune three pickaxe, get us some stuffs. So that's not too bad, not too bad of a mining trip. A quick mining trip just to get a couple more diamonds in case we uh, in case we do need some. So I'll probably end up doing more off of camera, more strip mining off of camera because I do want to get ready for that Ender Dragon fight, as I uh, explained earlier. See if there's any di Ooh, I see, I see more diamonds. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. I knew there was going to be some diamonds here. I had a feeling and I it delivered. So let me Where did my water go? There it is. All right, let me see. Let me take a quick peek down here. There's a big cave system here. All right, let's mine this really quickly. Where's my efficiency pickaxe? 1 2 3 Any more? I always mine a little bit around it because there is a uh, there is a slight chance that there's other diamonds uh, sitting somewhere around that patch, but it looks like there's none on this one. Um, I was just going to finish off that small... I thought this was a small cave system, but I do need iron. So I'm going to mine this up, and then I'm going to just finish this this portion right here to see if it actually leads anywhere. And if not, we'll end the, the episode, or we'll head on up out of this cave. I need to hit another level 30 because I need a couple more enchants when I make uh, diamond armor. Uh, Kobe has a Kobe made a blaze farm already, but it's kind of a far travel. So that's why that's the reason why I haven't used it yet um, I haven't used his blaze farm because it's just too far of a travel like a, it's a big hassle traveling to his uh, His place. I don't know why he picked such such a far place to freaking make his base And it's a pain in the butt to get over there. So and he hasn't really made a railway system yet So I'm not not traveling over there anytime soon and uh, you guys commented you guys saw in one of the videos I, I did find a blaze grinder very very close by to the nether hub So I will be or I might be uh, Using that one and then charging that one for my for my actual farm. Oh more diamonds. I missed this earlier. Yes 
<laughs> One, two. Is that four? Maybe four? Three? Four? Nice! We have a 12 diamond, 13 diamond ore. That's going to produce maybe at least 20 diamonds with a fortune 3 pickaxe. So we're going to have to pay somebody for a fortune 3 pickaxe or maybe we'll try to enchant one ourselves. Um, this is this seems like a really, really good cave system. So I'm going to check it out before actually going up uh, fully. I'm going to see if I can hit a dead end. This looks like a really, really long one, actually. Am I still, I'm still in diamond level, so there should be diamonds around here. I might even start a new strip mine here. Oh, this is the dead end right here. Alright, so it looks like this is our dead end. There's a bunch of creepers here. Oh, God, no. Um, and let's just mine up all this iron, and then we're, we'll head on out of here. And uh, I'll see if I can try to breed those villagers at the very, very end of this episode. Um, so people told me that all I have to do is trade them, like, once or twice. And then if they have the particles come up above their head, then they're willing to breed and they're ready to breed. I tried that, guys, but it wasn't working. But I'll try again on camera just to show you guys. And if I do happen to produce a baby, it'll be amazing. So we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if I just have bad luck off of camera or something, but it just wasn't working for me when I tried. So, but we'll try again. We'll see. We'll see what uh, goes on with this episode. So my, my house is actually coming together. So I really want to improve the way my house looks to everybody else. I want to make everything look pretty. I need to mine more quartz maybe just to make uh, my house made out of quartz. Give it a more modern uh, theme, I guess you could say. But I like, I like the way that I, I like where I'm headed right now. All right, got 13 diamond ore, five gold ore, and then a couple of stacks of uh, coal here. So we're going to head on out of this cave if I can find the exit. Looks like we had a nice, decent mining trip. 13 diamonds, not too bad. Never going to complain about diamonds, you know. So we're going to head on out of here. I'm going to eat a steak real quickly. And where is the end of the... Oh, I think I have to go this way. Let's, let's mine one tunnel on our way out just so we can head on over to that middle section that we uh, initially mined from. So hopefully you guys are enjoying today's episode. Find myself some diamonds. Hopefully I can find another couple on my way out of this cave. Um... Once again, guys, give me some ideas. I need more ideas for pranks. You guys have the, you guys have some of the best ideas, so I might as well ask you guys instead of uh, trying to figure out some myself. So if you guys have any mean, not too not too mean of a prank, but if you guys have a funny prank which would like either waste somebody's time or just make somebody laugh, let me know in the comment section below, guys, and I'll I'll pick out a couple of them and I'll I'll record them on camera once they're fully set up. So let's uh, hopefully I'm almost out of this cave. I'm not really not really positive. So we're just gonna keep on mining. I'm gonna actually cut right here, guys. And if, if I find any diamonds, I'll cut back. But we're gonna, oh, actually we're at the end of the cave. So let's just let's just continue. Let's just continue with the video. Da -da 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 -do. Wow, I'm failing right now. All right, let's head on up. All right, so we're gonna try. We're gonna try at the very end of this episode and I'll show you guys what I mean by it's just not working very very well so I'm gonna I have a lot of coal and I know there's a village there's a certain type of villager that accepts coal for trade so I'm gonna grab as much coal as I can I have my little villagers here trapped in a uh, in a little section so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to breed these so I, once again my farmer villager did die so I, this is why I want to breed them so here's one toolsmith that trades for uh, coal, and here's another one. So let's trade this guy. So hopefully he trades that, and then he turns his heart loves on. So as you guys can see, his heart loves didn't turn on. There's no, uh, there's no heart love. Let's see if we could trade something else that is easier. Now we're gonna try him one more time. Hopefully he does, he does start making love. Come on, baby. There's a 20% chance. That he turns into his love-making attitude. As you guys can see, he's not doing that right now. Let me see if I can find a cheap emerald trade here. Um, let me see. No, nothing too bad here. All right, so there's... Let me see if I... What's this guy? Butcher. 16... Oh, here. 16 coal here. So this guy should turn in love. Right? Turn in love. Why are you not loving? See what I'm talking about? There's not... It's so weird. I don't really know how the villager trading system fully works. And then they don't really, they don't fully, um, 
they don't fully even fall in love or they don't get into that breeding mechanism that, that I was talking about that changed in 1.8. And then they, they, they just don't even breed at all. So it's really weird. I'm not really sure how to fix it. I'm not even sure if it's actually broken or I'm doing something wrong. But if you guys do know what I'm doing wrong, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see if I can fix it, guys. But hold on. Let's try a couple of more trades here. See if they're willing to trade. All right. We're, we'll see if we can. I know for sure that this librarian is going to start getting loved. So come on. See what I'm talking about? I've that's the first time I traded that guy, that that armor, that specific trade, and then he still doesn't he still doesn't want to cooperate. So let me see if I could get this guy to love me. All right, come on. Come on. There's no love sparks. There's no love sparks. I don't know what's I don't know what's wrong. Is there something missing? There's doors in here. There's a village. I don't really know why. See, I can't figure out why that's not working. So this should like there should be a small percentage chance that they actually uh, they actually do that, but it's not working. So let me see if I can do it one more time. See if I can get the love hearts going. Come on, villagers, what's wrong? Why you no make love? Let's try this again. I've got five emeralds already and they're still not trading I'm not sure what's wrong what if we try to give this guy let's see what we can give this guy we can give this guy a book wow that is a crappy trade all right let's go into uh i'm gonna move these villagers away and then i'm gonna open up my hole gotta do this quick or they try to run away and get out of their little hole here so let me see if i have any sugar cane i do and then uh we'll take some paper let's put this in the ore chest right now you can have this smelt and then uh, put the emeralds away as you guys can see I have, I have 18 emeralds like almost all of that is simply from trying to get these uh, villagers to breed with each other and it, it, it just I don't know why they're just not breeding they're not they're not in the mood to breed and then all of a sudden I, I just can't make any more villagers that's like that's like my main problem right now I'm trying to I'm trying my hardest to uh, make these automatic farms but these villagers just won't cooperate so let's try to um, let's see if I can get a I want to get oh there's one okay so as you guys can see he's he's now in the love making session let me see if I can get this one to make it be in the love making session too come on there we go now th I need both of them to breed all right so they're in the love making session right now but I'm gonna stand here for a little bit I'm gonna pause for a little bit here and we'll see if we can get these two villagers to start breeding and if not we're in uh, bad luck because we can't. All right, I'm going to pause real quickly. Hopefully, they make a baby. And if not, I'm just going to uncut and uh, we'll go from there. So, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. And I tried my hardest. I trapped these two even in their own little cell. And I made them love, like, the love connection go flow in between them. But they still didn't make a baby. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing wrong. But I'm going to, I guess, I'm just going to keep on trying. Uh, off of camera until these start to make babies like I tried to put a bed in here as you guys can see to my inventory right now um, I tried to put everything more doors. I tried to remove doors. I tried to cover everything up I'm not sure what's going on if you guys can help me figure out why these aren't making love with each other Like do they have to be the same villager type? I tried that though. It still didn't work so let me know in the comments below, guys, if you guys do know how to fix this uh, villager breeding problem in the 1.8 uh, newest snapshot. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I'll give you guys a quick update right before I end it. I enchanted another pickaxe. Oh, wow. I just mined that, and I fell right off. I, d I just got a new mouse as well. But I enchanted a new pickaxe, and I'm about to show you guys what I got from it. Wow. What are, what are you doing, Toolsmith? Okay, okay. You stay there. Alright, I got 27 or 29 diamonds from the 13 stack that I had and I enchanted another pickaxe and now I have efficiency 4, unbreaking 3, fortune 3 alongside these two other god pickaxes so I'll be able to use those when I need. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode of Rise and uh, we will be back next time and if you guys have any ideas on how to solve this villager breeding problem, leave it in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys later.